Soon time, though, we're working new developments in a tragic child murder investigation. One of four men charged in the shooting death of a 12-year-old girl in Providence appeared in court late this morning. Brendan Castro was charged in the June 15th shooting at the Hartford Park housing development. Anise Vargas was killed and three women were injured after shots were fired into a crowd at a graduation party. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is live outside Superior Court now in Providence with the latest details. Sean? Danielle? On a cool day in the fall, what happened on a hot day in the summer was back on the docket this morning here at Superior Court in Providence. Violence struck in the shape of a murder and a triple shooting in the Hartford Park housing project at a high school graduation party in Providence late on June 15th, only minutes away from Father's Day. Five people have since been arrested, all of them, the police say, members of a South Providence gang involved in an ongoing feud with a rival gang. Say, uh, Mayor Angel Tavares said what that rivalry produced, quote, touched the soul of our city. By that, he meant the heartbreaking murder of 12-year-old Inese Vargas and the wounding of three women whose ages are 23, 33, and 44. The police say the shooter and his four fellow gang members were out for revenge because someone in the rival gang busted one of their car windows. They say all four victims were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Last week, one of the five accused, 20-year-old Ricardo Vasquez, pleaded guilty to his role in the shooting. He was sentenced to life in prison. Today, the man the police say was the actual shooter, 21-year-old Brandon Castro, was arraigned after a grand jury indicted him last week. Outside the courthouse afterwards, the little girl's father told me he's grateful for this indictment. He said, quote, we're satisfied. This is progress. Live at Superior Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.